Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on construction whereby we'll be given three pieces of information about a triangle to construct. Now whenever you're asked to construct in your exam you're expected to have the correct mathematical equipment. This is a ruler, a pair of compasses and a protractor. In today's lesson we're going to focus on constructing a triangle whereby we're given a side, side and side, construct a triangle whereby we're given a side, angle and side, and lastly, construct a triangle whereby we're given an angle, side and angle. So let's start with a side, side, side construction. Here the question wants us to draw accurately an isosceles triangle with the lengths 8 centimeters, 6 centimeters, and 6 centimeters. To do this, it's really straightforward and all we need to do is follow these instructions. The first is to draw the base length. Next, to put the compass point on the left and draw the left length, then put the compass point on the right and then draw the right length. So let's apply it to this question. Let's grab our ruler and draw our base length. I'm going to set my base length to be 8 centimeters. Then, once I've drawn my base length, I'm going to get my compass point and draw the left length. Now, because it's isosceles, the left length is 6 centimeters and my right length is 6 centimeters. So getting my compass, I'm going to set it for 6 centimetres. Once you set it, lock it, and always remember to only hold the black tip. From here, put your compass point at the left length and simply arc. Once you've done this, put your compass to the right length, ensuring you don't change the distance between the compass point and the pencil, and arc again. Here, you'll see a point of intersection. All you need to do is simply connect to draw our triangle. The great thing is, you can check your triangle by using a ruler. And you can see both lengths here are six centimeters. So I'm very happy. And remember, there is a little leeway, so don't panic if you're a couple of millimeters out. In this question, it asks you to construct an equilateral triangle with side length six centimeters. This is a side, side, side construction, and you can see an equilateral triangle has all lengths 6 centimeters in this question. See if you can give it a go and press pause if you need. So let's follow these instructions. Firstly, let's draw our base length. Well, our base length is 6 centimetres because it's an equilateral triangle. And then we're going to set our compass length to be 6 centimetres. Remember, when setting your compass length, don't forget to lock and ensure you only arc using the black tip at the top. Moving our compass point to the left, I'm going to simply arc. From here, move my compass point to the right and I'm going to arc again you'll be able to see a point of intersection. From the point of intersection, we can draw our triangle. Connecting the ends of our line segments, you can see we have our equal actual triangle. The great thing is, we can check with the ruler. We have six centimeters here, and we have six centimeters here. And don't panic, you're allowed to be a couple of millimeters out. Now let's move on to side angle side with this question. Here it states, here's a triangle, and we have to make an accurate drawing of triangle PQR. All we need to do is follow this simple set of instructions. Firstly, we simply draw the base length. Next, we put the protractor on the left and mark the left angle, given in this question. Then, we measure the left length, and then we simply connect. So let's apply it to this question. So let's start by drawing the base length first. The question stated that the base length was 8.5 centimeters. So, drawing my 8.5 centimeters, I'm now going to move my protractor to the left because the angle on the left was given in the question, and it was 46 degrees. So, putting my center of the sun of the protractor on the left, I'm marking 46 degrees to be here. Now, moving my protractor out the way, it's important to remember that we're doing the length on the left. So connecting the left line segment with that point, I'm now going to draw my left length to be seven centimeters. 
ensuring I keep it in line with that point, which we know is a 46 degree angle. Drawing my length, now I have a length of 7 centimeters and an angle here of 46 degrees. To make my triangle, I simply connect. It's quite tricky to check here, so all we need to do is simply measure again. This was 7 centimeters, this was 8.5 centimeters, and this was 46 degrees. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect, and you are allowed to be a few millimeters out and a couple of degrees out as well. In this exam question, it gives us another triangle, and we're asked to make an accurate drawing of the triangle ABC, and you can see it is a side angle side. See if you can give it a go and press pause if you need. Now I'm giving you a little hint by saying that you need to put the protractor on the right and ensure that you measure the right length. So let's follow our instructions. First of all, let's draw the base length. Well, the base length here is 9 centimetres. Then we're going to get our protractor and move it to the right because the angle we're given is on the right hand side. Identifying 40 degrees, I'm going to move my protractor away and line up my ruler with that angle. Measuring 6.4 centimetres, we have this length and it's always good just to draw your angle. Now from here, we have our triangle by simply connecting that missing length. To check, Simply get your ruler and protractor and measure 6.4 centimetres, 9 centimetres and 40 degrees. Remember, you are allowed to be a couple of degrees and a couple of millimetres out. Now let's move on to angle side angle, where the instructions are really simple. First, we draw our base length first, then we put the protractor on the left and mark where the left angle would be. Then we repeat for the right and simply connect. So in this past exam question, it gives us triangle ABC and it states that angle BAC is 55 degrees, AB is 6.2 centimetres and angle ABC is 65 degrees. And we're asked to draw the triangle ABC. See if you can give it a go by following these instructions and press pause if you need. Now let's do the base length, which is clearly 6.2 centimetres. Once you've done this, I'm going to identify the length AB. Now the angle on the left is angle BAC. So moving my protractor to the left, I'm now going to indicate where 55 degrees is. Now from this point, I don't actually know the length from my point A to C. So I'm going to draw a nice long line, but I do know Wherever I go on this line, it'll always make a 55 degree angle to length AB. Now, moving my protractor to the right, I'm going to do my 65 degree angle, which is angle ABC. Same again, I don't know what that length is, so I'm going to draw a nice long line. But I do know wherever I go on this line, it's always 65 degrees from that length AB. Now I have my triangle. So I'm going to highlight this in red. What's important to note is that you do not rub out any construction lines as you do get a mark for these. So in summary, when you're asked to construct, ensure you have the correct equipment and do not erase the construction lines as these are equivalent to working out. And these construction questions are great because you can always check if you're correct by measuring your construction matches to that of the question. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Leave your comments down below and subscribe to this channel so you'll be the first to know when we release our next video.